that can scale to the point of supplying world demand in 40 years. What are they? Coal is one. Coal. We have a lot of coal. And solar energy. Solar energy. Solar energy. Okay. And of course, you know, coal is, is, as I said before, it kills us. Okay. Coal uh, is the biggest polluter in the world by far. Uh, the, the, just to give you an indication, coal emits more nuclear uh, pollution than a nuclear plant. Does it? Than the equivalent nuclear plant, a hundred times more. Yes. All right, so that leaves us with solar. What's the status of solar energy right now in the world? So let, let, me, let me give you an indication of the amount of energy that we get from the sun. Uh, one hour of sunshine that the planet Earth gets could, if transformed into power, could give us all the energy that we need, the whole world, for a year. Okay. One hour of sunshine. So if we transform just 0.025% of the, the solar energy that we get from the sun, we could power the whole Earth forever, pretty much. Well, <laughs> 5,000 to 10,000 years. A uh, million years, isn't that? Five million years when uh, the sun is supposed to burn out. Uh, that the yeah. yes, uh, it's going to be a while. And and, and yeah, I, I was being cute, but the yeah. point you made. Yeah, there is this tremendous resource that's yes. up there yes. in the sky. Yes, that we can harness, and it's free energy, I guess. It is free. It's clean. Uh, it's democratic. It shines pretty much everywhere. So are you thinking about everyone putting panels on their roof? Is that it, what you're thinking about? Not really. I mean, the technology for transforming uh, solar energy into electricity, into power, there are many types of technologies. And uh, what most people think about is panels on the rooftop of, of their houses. That's just one way to do it. Uh, there is a concept of solar thermal, concentrating solar power, where you take mirrors, mirrors, yes. I mean the type that you have at your home, yeah. basically, and you have a lot of mirror surface, and you point that to a single point or to fluids, you heat that up, and with that fluid, you run turbines, the old-fashioned way sure. to generate electricity. Uh, so when we talk about large-scale solar generation, desert power, uh, we can use this cheaper form of solar power generation. So in California, it's pretty hard to build a coal plant anywhere near a city or maybe even in a state. But the Mojave Desert, like maybe all of it or some of it, is in this state. Mm -hmm. And that is where I think we have some of these big utility scale solar plants. Yes. And you're advocating that we build more of them. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Let me, let, let me give you an indication of, of, of uh, what we need. Uh, the United States were blessed with beautiful deserts. If we convert less than 1%, less than 1% of the land surface of desert, U.S. desert, we could power the whole United States the whole year. We need just less than 1% of desert land, whether we put it in the Mojave or in the Nevada deserts or New Mexico and so on. We have a lot of land. And yes, I am advocating that one of the ways in which we need to transform solar energy is as a form of desert power. Now, I know 10, 20 years ago, uh, Florida Power and Light built solar plants in the Mojave Desert, and they're still being used mm -hmm. effectively. Would that be correct? Uh, yes, there are nine power plants in, in, in the Kramer Junction area in the Mojave Desert. So if this was done, I think, 20 years ago? Yeah, 20, 25 years ago, yes. 
it obviously can be done now and less expensive. Yes. And it must financially work. Because yes. Because if they made it work before, yes. they could easily make it work today. Yes. Why isn't there a major initiative to put, instead of using just one percent of the desert, why don't we use two or three and start putting these plants in? What keeps us from doing this? A combination of things, but le let me tell you, those power plants were built uh, 20, 25 years ago, and they still operate uh, at a cheaper rate than a gas-fired power plant. Uh, 25 years later, they generate about the same power that six months of San Francisco residential consumption would be today. That's a considerable amount. It, it is, it is. Uh, so uh, that has proved that solar thermal, concentrating solar power in the desert works. It yes. can work for decades and it can work on a financially viable basis. Now, you have a good point. Why don't we do more of this? And we don't do more of this because for many reasons. Uh, one is that the rules and regulations in this country are stacked against clean energy. Uh, the, the rules, and it, it's very easy to get a permit, for instance, to drill gas or oil, but it's very hard to get a permit to uh, uh, put out a, a solar power plant out in the desert. From 2004 to 2008, there were 29,000 plus uh, permits approved for oil and gas drilling on the Bureau of Land Management, that's US uh, uh, government land. And there was exactly zero uh, permits for solar power development. Right. Somebody's got to talk to the Bureau and Land Management yes. fast. Yes, okay. yes. So, yeah, uh, uh, thankfully, uh, with in, in the Obama administration, there's an, an understanding that that has to happen and the Secretary of the uh, Department of the Interior, Ken Salazar, has promised uh, to make a good amount of land uh, available for solar. But even so, there's, to my knowledge, only one large-scale solar plant, solar concentrating solar power plant, that is being built right now in the Mojave Desert. And that's bright? That's bright source. That's right. bright source, it which is, yeah. And they have Google money in it, is that right? They have Google money. Uh, they have, uh, yes, so they have, sure. they have raised uh, a lot of money. They also, uh, one of the main things that made this uh, uh, viable, possible, was that they got a loan guarantee from mm. the Department of Energy. Okay. Uh, so as we, uh, what, uh, your question was, why can't this be done on a bigger scale? Uh, so bureaucracy in terms of getting the permits to make the land available to solar power developers. That's one thing. We need to simplify that process so that it's as easy for solar power developers as it is for oil and gas. Uh, we're not asking for more. We're, we're asking for a level playing field as far as simplicity, as far as processes and rules and regulations to build power plants. That's one. Okay. Finance. So many of these power plants are large. Uh, they need multi-hundred million dollar uh, 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 financing from banks and, and whatnot. And uh, the fossil fuel industries are well known, well financed. They have got a lot of subsidies from the government throughout the years, tens of billions of dollars. Uh, now we need the same kind of support from the government to finance. Uh, support to finance. We don't need the money from the government. We just need support to finance this. Uh, so permitting, uh, financing. We have the technology. The technology is viable. One last thing that we need, the grid. Now this country's grid is uh, old, it's creaky, uh, it's, it's basically, uh, it won't withstand the growth in our economic, uh, sure. yeah, so, so we, need, we need to invest in so the So forgetting yeah. about solar, yes. just the way we're going, increasing, let's say, the burning of coal or oil or yes. whatever, the grid 